it's like okay, so we're gonna be talking about the midheaven, the tenth house. You know, that house ruled by Capricorn and Saturn that pretty much dictates your public image in a sense where um, it's how people see you online or at work and yeah, and how you achieve things. You know, I'm going to be talking about how each midheaven um, achieves goals, I guess. That's how what I'm exactly going to talk about. Where the drive lands in the midheavens and how they achieve said goals that are long term. Anyways, cue that cringy intro, fam. Um, why am I, um, doing the Midheaven first? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, um, the midheaven, like I said, is your public image, your public persona, your public whatever, how you act at work or on the internet. And where are we right now? The internet. The beautiful place called the internet. You don't know what you're gonna find here. You're gonna find some really weird shit. But other than that, you're not seeing my ascendant at the moment. You're seeing my very, um, influenced Midheaven. So, that's what you're seeing for me right now. You're not seeing what I, what face I put on at parties or, like, the face I put on when I first meet people. You're seeing a totally different face from me. <laughs> and usually, um, when you see um, someone's content or hear it or I'm not really sure you know when when you see someone on social media or hear someone on social media you are probably you you are getting their midheaven and usually the midheaven squares the ascendance mine doesn't but usually that's the case so basically I guess I am just going to talk about what you know from the internet and the people from the internet rather than um, what you'd see from these people on the internet at parties. I might do another video explaining how the sun signs would be at parties if you want me to, but we're going to be talking about how the midheavens conquer their goals. So let's move on. Hey, as you can see by this filter, Yes, this is a Pisces Midheaven video. Okay. Um, basically, I might use this filter more because it looks pretty cool. But otherwise, you know, the Pisces Midheaven. Um, these people, project-wise, have to fill out their projects, okay? You have to realize that Pisces, um, Pisces' sister is Virgo. Virgo has to do with work, health, and service, okay? Just keep that in mind, work, health, and service, okay? Virgo is very selfless and they rule over that. You know, they want to help people in their sense. Um, they help on a more physical realm than Pisces because, you know, they rule over, rule over physical health while Pisces rules over mental health. So basically, you know, Pisces um, has Virgo in them, so they have a sense to help others. But they also stem off of Aquarius. Because Aquarius is their neighbor. And Aquarius wants to gather people for social change. So honestly, Pisces wants to help people. And has massive empathy because of who they stem off of and who their relative is. And that's just how Pisces is. And, you know, when this is thrown into projects... Obviously, they need to feel their projects out. Make sure that it's helping both them and other people. That it is emotionally fulfilling yet purposeful. So, you know, once they find that, they may also get caught into caught in, hey, is this really helping others? Is this really helping me? Is this really going to mean something in the end? You know, they might actually get caught up in that and try to make themselves believe either or you know, 
either it's helping people, either it's helping them, either it's, you know, for the greater good, or all three of those at the same time, because Pisces is ruled by Neptune in Jupiter and exalts Venus, so, you know, the Neptunian side of them is, you know, Neptune rules over delusions, so they're gonna probably make, you, you know, delusions of these things, okay? They're gonna probably drive themselves a little, a little delusional if they don't keep themselves in check, all right? And they're going to probably lose sight of what's important and how they actually feel and how those people actually feel that, you know, are involved with their projects and how, you know, this is helping the greater good in a sense. Basically, um, you know, Pisces uh, also has a step-by-step -step plan like Virgo, but they don't follow it like Virgo uh, when it comes to their projects. They have to do random steps at random times. These guys are the INFPs of the Zodiac, and they're mutable water, so they're a little too fluid. And that's pretty, like, that's pretty lit in a sense, because Pisces can really move around to any place they want to and do whatever they want if they put, you know, apply themselves to it. But, you know, the main flaw with that is, where do you go? But, you know, that's why Pisces is my favorite midheaven, because with all that space that Neptune offers, and Jupiter offers, because Jupiter expands things and is very philosophical and has um, spiritual roots and also Neptune has spiritual roots. You know, they're very spiritual planets and there's a great intuition that comes with them. So when it comes to the realm of Pisces, you know, it is very vast and you can do whatever. And that's why I find Pisces Midheavens pretty fascinating and how, and like why they're my favorite, because literally it can move anywhere on the board. They are the queen of the chess board thing. I don't play chess. Uh, you get my point though. Um, so basically, you know, when it comes to, see I lost track, great. But you know, when it comes to Pisces, like I said, you know, Virgo has step-by-step -step thing, all right? They follow each step in order. Pisces does not do that. They just do random, like, steps because, you know, they're perceiving intuitive, pe like, beans. And, you, and, you know, they stitch up all the uh, steps together in the end, and that's how they come up with the finished products of any sort. You know, they know how to make things look nice because, like I said, they exalt Venus. And that's that also comes into play when they're, you know, working with other people. Because Pisces doesn't have to be the leader. They're a mutable sign. They really don't have to be the leader. They need, a, they need someone who's a little more structured, to be honest. That's why Capricorn's considered their sextile, because Capricorn can offer structure. But, you know, Capricorn's also very different from Pisces, and Pisces is very different from Capricorn. Really, the only thing that they, like, have in common is that they both think they're right all the time. Because, you know, th that's really what they have in common when it comes to, in the end. Really, they just... But in the end, also, it, like, they look past their stubbornness. Capricorn needs to let loose and Pisces needs to have a little structure. So that's how they work together. And basically, you know, that Pisces doesn't have to be the leader. Could they be? Yeah. But, you know, they need a little more structure, so they don't have to be. Because, you know, they need probably a good, like, person who's, like, take charge uh, when it comes to, like, assertive issues. So, yeah, and they also like to, like, they prefer to work in groups because Pisces, like, you know, they're very empathetic. They can connect with other people pretty well. And also they stem from Aquarius. So obviously, you know, the self undoing um, goes hand in hand with humanitarianism. But basically, you know, now they come up with the finished products and how other people kind of integrate into these, um, you know, their minds and what they come up with in the end from their roaming, their vast, not like land of not, you know, it's vast. There's nothing there, but there is something there, you know, after like taking people on that trip and taking themselves on that trip, they know how to just put things together, work on the motions of other people and that's how they make something.
They know how to emotionally appeal to themselves and others. And with Neptune, um, you know, this also applies to Neptune the 10th. People have strong opinions about these people, okay? When Neptune in any sh way, shape, or form touches the 10th house, people have strong opinions about, you know, the Neptunian 10th house native, okay? They really, like, they really have strong opinions. Like, it's not even funny. They either think that Neptunian person agrees with them on everything, or that they disagree with them on anything. And when that Neptunian person falls out of line, and nobody knows that the Neptunian person is going to fall out of line, too. But they, they'll eventually will. And, you know, Neptune, the Neptunian person doesn't see how these people are perceiving them, because they don't see them on their weird-ass plane of dreaminess, cloudiness, subconsciousness. There's something there, but they can't see it, so they think of it as nothing. And, you know, when that person just comes out of nowhere and says, Hey, you did something that I don't agree with. I don't like you anymore. You're like the worst person ever. I'm going to spread rumors about you and I'm going to stab you in the back and yada yada yada. You know, all of that, you know, just that basically. The Pisces person, the Neptunian person, just like, What? I did not, I did not mean to step on your toes, but, you know, you kind of assumed things in the first place that you shouldn't have. And that's basically the life of the Pisces Midheaven, okay? Um, and then, or Neptunian Midheaven for that matter. They need, like, they will end up gravitating drama and bad shit to them at some points because, you know, people have strong perceptions of them. And usually the strong perceptions don't make sense because Neptune doesn't make sense. It's delusions, okay? And, you know, whatever Pisces makes of their projects, how they emotionally appeal to people, how they emotionally appeal to themselves, how they are pieced together, and how hard they've worked on them, you know, it is for something. But, you know, some people are not going to be down with it. And some people are, and they're gonna pro- and, you know, Pisces probably has their own opinion on their work. And it just, you know, it, it is a really weird sign for the Midheaven. And I do enjoy it in a sense because, you know, Virgo is anchoring that Pisces energy down. You know, Virgo is their home, and their home's very organized. But when they go out in the public, nobody knows what to exactly think of them. So they make shit up along the way. And, you know, when... Pisces climbs up the Midheaven Mountain, they don't even know that they were climbing a mountain in the first place. So when they end up on top, they're just like, how did I get here? I don't know. Um, but I'm here though. Like, great. 10 out of 10. You know, that's just how that sign works when it's in the Midheaven. And with this Midheaven, obviously, um like Uranus kind of, you know, it's similar to Uranus, you know, changes happens to their image and how they approach things, you know, things change, they're very go with the flow. So they'll pretty much tackle on anything that's in front of them. An example for our Pisces Midheaven is Lindsay Lohan. You know, I'd say Lady Gaga, but I feel like she's very used for these videos. So, you know what, I, I'm going to go with Lindsay Lohan for this one, okay? Um, basically, like I said, rumors. Um, I'm going to consider conspiracy theories, too. You know, you don't know if they're true or not, so I'm going to say that. Um, you know, they really start with these people. And like I said, uh, image shifts. But the image shifts aren't very random and dramatic. Like, with Miley Cyrus, you know, she has an Aquarius Midheaven. You know, her changing into the bangers slash dead pets era, that was random, and nobody really expected it. Um, with Lindsay Lohan, nobody really knew what to expect of her in the first place because she was a child star, and that's all what, they pe what people knew of her, that she was just some child star who was innocent and, you know, parent trap and other things. But she, like... 
the Herbie. It was, is that what, you know that bug that has a number on it and it talks? He, he, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. I think she was in that movie when she was an adult, but anyways, um, you know, people just like perceived her as a child star and then you know the mean girls and like the weird talking bug thing happened. I want to say the bug's name's Herbie, but it could be wrong. It could be Kirby. I'm not sure, okay? It, it was a talking bug though and it wanted to race. Okay, and I remember that movie from my childhood, and I'm really tired. So basically, you know, people, like, when she was in that era where she was doing, like, Mean Girls and all those kinds of movies, they just really thought of her as that child star who was in The Parent Trap, okay? That's what they thought of Lindsay Lohan at the time. But then, you know, that progressed into a rough patch, so people knew her for a rough patch for a while, and, like, some drama, and now people know her for, you know, picking herself up, but there's also some conspiracy theories. We're not going to talk about those, though, because I'm not- it's not in my jurisdiction. I don't know what's correct or not, um, but like I said, speculation is a part of the Neptunian midheaven experience, um, so obviously people are going to speculate some interesting stuff, especially, you know, since she's been in the spotlight for a while, okay? And when you're in the- well, she's not really in the spotlight now, but she kind of recent. she kind of entered in 2016 so that's why i'm saying that but you know she she's kind of known okay she is known and when you're known enough i think that there's more it, like it is you know you're more prone to that kind of things and especially with neptune it is something that's just going to be prominent um so yeah, that was my Neptune, well, no, Pisces in the 10th video. I hope this was coherent enough. I'm, I try to make it more fluid because that's just kind of what Pisces does. That's why it's longer because I just wanted to make this feel very Pisces for you. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really enjoy this filter, so I think I'm going to use it more in my videos. But other than that, peace out. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs>